Okay, welcome. Today we're going to go over how to copy a digital file to a real diskette for a Commodore 64 system. You can download a bunch of uh, digital games, digital file format games for the Commodore 64 in different formats and uh, be able to write them to a real diskette. Sometimes you need to do this because you can't actually run them on the uh, emulated drive like a Pi 1541. So the first thing you'll need is a PC with internet access and USB micro SD card adapter to download and write files to the micro SD card. A C64 system with a real 1541 disk drive, a Pi 1541 virtual drive setup, which basically consists of a Pi 1541 hat on a Raspberry Pi 3B, and it's set up with Pi 1541 software with uh, the firmware version 1.23, I've found that 1.24 no longer seems to work to start the Maverick this copy program from the Pi 1541. Uh, perhaps if you start Maverick Dual and then do a copier from a disk on the physical 1541, you may be able to use the newer 1.2 firmware. And the Maverick disk copier program, you can get a copy of that from CSDB. And a copy of the program you want to copy to disk in either D64 or DG64 or .G64 format. Uh, G64 format is usually what they use for more copy-protected floppy, game floppies, those kind of things that were copy-protected back in the day, and a G64 is a more exact uh, digital image of the actual, uh, all the tracks on the floppy, including the, uh, the in-between tracks and error tracks and those kind of things. And you can get uh, those programs available from a few Commodore software sites. A Google search will usually allow you to find what you want. Sometimes you have to use an FTP client because most modern browsers will not allow access to FTP sites. I ran into this with uh, trying to find software. Sometimes it redirects to an FTP site, uh, but pulls up, I think it's Google Chrome or something like that, and it just will not get there. So then I had to uh, diagnose which site it was going to and, and use FileZilla FTP client to be able to do it. And uh, you'll need two IEC serial cables, so both physical 1541 and the Pi 1541 can be hooked up at the same time to do the uh, dual nibble copy. And some good DS double-sided, double-density, uh, five and a quarter inch floppy disks. Um, most of these disks are getting old, so sometimes you'll run into ones that uh, are not even been used but may not be good. Some of them get stuck in their jackets. Some of them, the uh, oxide starts to uh, deteriorate on and actually can contaminate the head. So then you have to clean the keep cleaning the heads all the time. So I run into that recently with a few diskettes. So that's basically what you'll need to get started with this routine. Okay, so the first step is to take the SD micro SD card out of your Raspberry Pi. I have a uh, little USB adapter here that I can plug it into the PC with. So I'll do that. See here it has 1541 directory. That's where we want to dump the files that we need. So I have a copy of Maverick. So I'll dump in the uh, Maverick Master A. That's the only one I really need. And Summer Games. There's the G64 image here. So those two are now copied to the SD card. And while we're on the SD card, I'll just show you that you also want to make sure that your Raspberry Pi or the Pi 1541 is set for device nine, because we will be using the device eight on the real 1541 physical drive. So there it is there, device ID equals nine. So that will work. The other thing I have to do is copy the right version of the firmware in here, because if it's a new one, it will not work properly. That is the kernel image, so I need to go find the other one.
Now I have the 1.23 version of the kernel image, which works with Maverick. So I will do that. That should be it. So I will set up the camera on the Commodore 64 and we'll go through the rest of the procedure. Okay, so we insert the SD card into the, that we modified into the Raspberry Pi, like that, and power up the Raspberry Pi. See, we get a display. Through the OLED on the Raspberry Pi that shows the various files that are on the SD card. We'll use the uh, buttons here in a few minutes to move to the one we want. Let's power up the 64. Okay, so on this one, now we want to select the Maverick file. Master. And then we hit the uh, select key. So now it's basically like putting in a disk and loading it from a file. Now on the 64, we'll type the load command, load star. Nine comma one. You can hear the Pi fifteen forty one sounds, and as you can see, it's successfully loading Maverick. And in Maverick, we want to choose the GCR nibble copier. And duo. So now that we've got that loaded, we want to have the Pi 1541 be set for the image that we want to, or the file that we want to image to disk. So we have to get out of the one we're in. that and then we select the summer games there's our summer games So we want our source drive to be 9, which is right. Destination will be 8, which is the floppy over here. And I guess that auto 
density to on. Insert our disk. moving on the real 1541 says copy complete press return Work. Now we should be able to load summer games off drive eight, the real floppy. starting to load summer games. This can take a couple minutes. Successfully copied a disk image from digital file to 